Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, um, today we're going to look at the hacker box, specifically box 0046. Persistence is the name of the box. And this particular box was sent to me by hacker boxes as a thank you for the videos I've been making. So this one is still available. You can still buy it, but let's take a look at what's on what's in it. So we got a bunch of header pins. A prototyping board for the Arduino. Two of them. An Arduino Uno. Some LEDs and resistors. A 9 volt battery pack. Ooh. I'm excited for this. An 18650 battery charger and shield. That's awesome. So it looks like it'll output through the USB port and input is this micro USB. Very nice. Let's see what else? Got an open source hardware pin. And an open hardware sticker. And this E hat. Or, uh, what do you call them? E paper module. That'd be cool. I don't. I'll probably not actually solder this to anything because I have a couple things in mind that I'd like to kind of design based off of a e-paper module. I would want something a little bigger, but this was be great for testing what I want to do. So that'll work. Alrighty. Cool. Let's take a look over at the instructables that Hackerbox put out on this one as well. Kind of see what things he has in mind to make. So here's all the contents. We've kind of already gone over that. A little intro to Arduino, to Arduino Uno specifically. A little description on exactly what an e-paper display is. That's pretty cool. This e-paper is multicolor, so it's yellow, black, and red. That's cool. The prototyping shield. This one I will solder here in just a little bit so we can kind of see what that looks like. So it gets persistence over the name from persistence, persistence of vision. That's cool. The USB 18650 battery bank. Cool. So, it's a couple of things to do. We have this Arduino project. I'd be interested to see how he plans to spin it or how he was spinning it around. So, we have to go in and watch the video or look a little more at this particular POV project. But this brings me to something I haven't really talked about on other hacker boxes I've opened. One thing I really like about hacker boxes, and in some of my other ones I've hard soldered stuff on, and some of them I've used uh, the he header pins so that the, like, like here in the uh, Raspberry Pi, 
we use the header pins so that I can remove the Pico and use it elsewhere. But the screen is actually fully soldered on, so I'd have to unsolder it. But for the most part, one thing I really like about hacker boxes is all the additional stuff I get. Like this, this Arduino Uno, I'll be able to use it for any project. I'm only going to use one of these prototyping boards for that LED setup just to see how, because I want to follow that along. I've got this now to use in other projects to learn further. So, again, another nice thing about hacker boxes is just the amount of stuff you get that you'll be able to use on other projects to learn even further. You don't have to stick to just the projects they give you. You can expand, whether it just be like with this Pico Pi project, if it's just coding further, like the, um, I don't have any micro USB plugged in to show you, but with this, coding it so that you can see a more in-depth video. If you go back and watch this video, you see that I went with somebody else's project than the specific one for hacker boxes because it had some additional screens that gave a lot more information. But it's a good way to learn more coding. Or if you're into hardware, you get a bunch of displays and prototyping boards and all sorts of things that you can work and learn your own hardware building. So with that, let's solder together this light set and get it programmed to the Arduino.
so that's the project. Real simple, but this is a great place to start. Actually go in and look at the code. You can kind of see the basics of it. Some decent, quick through-hole soldering. Having to figure out exactly how to do all this kind of makes you think a little bit. I don't know. It's definitely a fun project. Uh, I'd like to get it all stuck together and try the perspective view one. But just got to get it all stuck together. So yeah, uh, this one is still available. I put a link in the description of where to pick up this one. Like I said, you get a couple extra things. You even get this thing I'm probably most excited about is the 18650 battery shield. Little charger. It's got places to put header pins for 5 volt and 3 volt. So you can even use it as a little uh, power station. I believe it has all the charging circuits on it too, so you can charge the 18650 on it as well. It's by Wemos. Great little project. Um, sorry this video was a little late. It'll be out on Tuesday morning rather than Monday morning. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.